Hi everybody, this is Alma coming to you from Long Beach, California. Today is Friday, January 29th of the year 2021, and this is my 49th floss tube video. So as always, I want to welcome you all. Welcome back to all of you returning viewers and subscribers. Thank you, as always, for your continuing support. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. I wouldn't come back week after week if it wasn't for you. So I do appreciate you checking in on me and keeping up with me week after week. And um, if this is your first time visiting, then welcome. Um, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is a channel about cross stitch, mostly full coverage um, with some exceptions. So I hope you like what you see and you find a reason to stay and subscribe and continue to follow me on my stitching journey. Um, if you guys remember, last week, I'm just gonna get straight to the stitching, <laughs> um, but if you guys remember last week, I participated in the 24 hours of cross stitch marathon that's hosted by Jen Lee of Quirks and Stitches. Um, my original plan was to go ahead and work on or focus on one project each day of the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, because I had, for full coverage on Attics Bingo, I had um, a few spaces still going. So um, I wanted to go ahead and finish those up before the end of the month. So um, the first week, the first week, the first, well not the first, but one of those projects that I focused on was uh, my Hogwarts Castle. And this is a pattern by The Stitching Girl on Etsy. Um, it's no longer available though, but you can find the chart um, charted by other people, or you can find the image, I should say, charted by other people. And um, this was actually a 2000 stitched space. Um, the space was supposed to be on to start on something new and put a thousand stitches on something new, but I decided to do penalty stitches, so double the stitch count and work on my oldest whip. So this is what I have so far. All 2,000 stitches were done on black. <laughs> so it was mostly just this upper area right here. I did do um, some, some of it down here as well. But the goal is to go ahead and see the gridded area, kind of work my way down um, with all the black first. And then I'll go ahead and fill in the colors before moving on to the next area. So yeah, um, so Hogwarts only got 2,000 stitches this month. Oh, I should have I should have mentioned that in the beginning of the video. Since it is the end of the month, I'll go ahead and talk, you know, a little bit of, about statistics and stitch counts. So I'll try to save most of them for the end, but I'll try to also mention them as I go. <laughs> um, so Hogwarts got 2,000 stitches this month. So um, it's my 21 and 21. Um, piece for full coverage phonetics, so 21,000 stitches in the year 2021. Um, I should like to, I, I hope I can get the, the entire project finished um, by the end of the year. We'll just, um, talk about that again at the end. Um, the One of the other pieces that I focused on throughout the weekend was my Disney villain piece. This was started in February of 2020. And I had originally wanted to finish it by the end of 2020. It didn't happen. I even tried finishing one panel and it didn't happen. But I was able to finish the, the 1000 stitch space um, for bingo. So this is where we're at right now. Um, and the space was for something sparkly. So she has the jewel in her crown that sparkles, the crown is shiny, she's got the, there's also a little gem here for her cape or whatever. Um, Corella has a sparkly necklace, there's, there's sparkles, there's shinies. Um, and I'm at 10,250 stitches out of 16,000 stitches for this panel alone. So, because when you buy the pattern it's split up into four pieces, so. But I'm, I'll be stitching them all together. It's just coming along really well, I think. Um, it's 
it's exciting. Like I'm, I'm excited to be done with, with that um, upper portion and go, go to the clothing. As you can see, I already started some of it down here with the blue. It's just a lot of confetti, um, so I have to be really in the mood. Like besides, you know, the blocks of color with the black and the blue, there's a lot of confetti in there. So I have to be in the mood for it. Um, another piece that I focused on for the marathon is my biggest whip. This is Amy Stewart's um, Reader's Paradise. And I got the supersized max color version. Um, and I'm starting on the left corner, the upper, upper, lower left hand corner. So this is, this is the area right here. Look at the kitty. I'm so excited to get stitch him. And he's, he'll be coming soon, relatively soon. But right now I'm still here. This is pretty much, oops. This is pretty much the area that I'm stitching right there. The stacks of books that are um, on the stairs. Let me figure out where I put them. Figure out my life. Um, yeah, this is so gross. So this is where I'm at. Um, so again, that's the rug or whatever that's on the stairs. And then this is the beginning of the stacks of books right here. And I'm trying to work with the lighting. So yeah, so this is where I'm at. This got 2,000 stitches. Oh, and uh, the Evil Queen got 2,000 stitches as well because I used her for two spaces. This got 2,000 stitches as well. I used this for um, something with words of books and I used it for a cozy spot because that library looks very cozy or that bookstore, I should say, the bookshop. That bookstore looks, looks very cozy. And then um, throughout the weekend, um, whenever I got, I got bored with the black or I couldn't deal with the confetti <laughs> on Evil Queen, I work on my haku, and this is by Ekaterina Saitova. I started this on April 1st, back when quarantine had just started, and everybody was doing quarantine sales. And I don't know why I bothered showing you the finished product, because I could have just shown you this. I finished. He's looking amazing. And I think I'm gonna frame him. Um, I still have to iron it, wash and iron, but I'm definitely gonna frame him. Let's see if I can get a close up of the details here without freaking out the camera. Here we go. So it was it took a lot longer than I thought. Obviously, I feel like that. I feel like I said that every time with backstitching. I think it's only gonna take like a day, and it ended up taking pretty much the entire weekend really um so yeah that's that's haku beautiful haku I'm very happy with how it turned out um and yeah that's this is my first finish of 2021 okay maybe if i freeze like this uh, YouTube's gonna catch the thumbnail. <laughs> um, so, so that was that was the weekend. Um, but then I also kept going with some of the missing tasks that I was trying to finish up. One of well, first I show you the product image, right? So, the this is going to be one of my major focuses this year. This is the Eternal Promise. Um, Artwork by Matt Stewart, charted by Hayde. It'll be a gift, so that's why I need to get cracking on it. And I only put in like 300 stitches this week. I didn't put too much into it, um, but it was enough to finish up one of the tasks for semi saint stitchers. It was um, our focus pieces. We have to stitch a thousand in a, in a thousand stitch increments, and unfortunately, I kind of I. I got screwed up um, and ended up starting like 300 stitches later than when I was doing the full coverage pieces. So that's why I needed to do a little bit more. But this is where I'm at. I used this for the stitch with me this week as well. Um, so yeah, 
So again, so this got a little bit over, I, I would say like 23, 2300 stitches. Sounds about right, 2300, because I used it for a couple of spaces. I used it for two of something, and then the stitcher's choice, I'm pretty sure. So this is going to be a major focus next month because Full Coverage Fanatics is doing a romance theme for their monthly or book challenge. And so romance genre um, and it's Outlander, which is 850 sp spaces, 850 stitches times 10, 8,500 stitches throughout the month of February. Let's see if it happens. Um, another uh, piece that I was working on, and I'm gonna just maneuver here real quick because it is. I have to maneuver with fabric here, <laughs> but um, I guess my tablet is just hidden. The next piece that I that I did focus on, as always, is one of the pieces that I want to finish next month. This is a piece that I'm working on for model stitching, and this so this is Full Moon by Foxy Stitcher, and. I used this for a space this week. I was able to do, you know, I was able to use all the stitches for a space in bingo. So the, the space that I did this week was the one that's closest to a finish. Um, because it's at 80% now, I believe. There we go. This is where I'm at. And I'm at 16,000 stitches so far. And it's got a little under 20,000 stitches. So I'm on track. Um, I'm on track to finish her by the end of February. If I keep, if I keep up with that um, 1,000 um, 1,000 stitch a week pattern routine. So that's full moon. And then another space that I did for bingo was something with wings or something that flies so i picked up mini midnight stroll which i hadn't stitched on her all month and you know she couldn't go away for too long i love her and she's supposed to be a gift so this is a chart by hate artwork by julie fain and this is where we're at right now So here she is. Most of the thousand stitches went into the inside of the moon. As you can see, it, I used to just be working on the outside and then of course her, the, the fairy. But um, this week I really focused on stitching over here on the upper, upper end of the moon. I also used her for some of the monthlies on, mon yeah, monthly tasks on enchanted stitching. We were supposed to do 200 stitches on a moon and then 200 stitches using the color purple so I purposely use like a because you know these this one for example like it can go either way some people may say it's it's purple some people may say it's pink so I use like 209 so that's like definitely a purple um, and I use this for the magical stitches homework this week as well we were supposed to research a mythological creature and then put at least 100 stitches on it. So you could do as many creatures as you wanted as long as you did a minimum, a minimum of 100 stitches on each. So technically you could do a max of 10. Um, but I just went for the one. <laughs> I'm like, okay, mythological creature, fairy, 1,000 stitches, done. And then the space that I'm doing now is um, for the piece with the least amount of stitches. So since Haku was finished, the next one in terms of size, smaller, smallest piece is Bilbo. This is by Mandarin's Designs. And I started this on January 1st of 2020. And this, I do want to finish this relatively soon because I originally wanted to finish it by the end of the year. 
still not finished yet, but this is what I have so far. I still have like 200 more stitches to go on the space, but I finished the door last night. So I just have to do some of the wall or yeah, the door frame, I guess, the rest of the door frame over here. There's a stack of books over here and a teapot and a little saucer with the cookies. So what I'm doing with this one is I went ahead and uploaded one of the versions of the pattern that doesn't have the half stitches. So it's like if you look at it, if you look at that version, then this area right here that's half stitched is just blank. Because um, that way I don't have to keep jumping back and forth to check, okay, am I stitching a half stitch? Am I stitching full stitches? Because um, the full version, like the complete pattern on Pattern Keeper, Pattern Keeper can't tell the difference between the half stitch and the full stitch. So, um, yeah, so it, it was always a struggle to kind of keep checking. So now I just go, went ahead and, and I'm using the full stitch only. Once I finish that version of the pattern, I'll go ahead and um, move on to the full version so I can finish the half stitches. And I don't have that much left to do, guys. He's gonna be finished pretty soon, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> One more, one more piece I worked on this week. That's what I felt earlier. Um, so one more piece, non-full coverage. Kind of sneak peek there. <laughs> um, but this is my Flowers of the Alphabet, which semi sane Stitchers is doing a year-long event where we're stitching our way through the alphabet. So we've done A, B, and then today we're starting C. This is where I'm at right now. So I wasn't able to finish B, unfortunately. <sighs> right, that's weird shading here. I hope that works a little bit better. Um, yeah, I wasn't able to finish the B for bluebells, but I'll go ahead and move on to C if I have time. If I um, actually, I will be able to finish or to finish B because that was my let go call this month. And what I'm gonna do is, if you've, if you've seen me work on this before, then you know that this is my D-stash piece, so I'm not using the call for colors. Um, you can even tell, I feel so awkward. Ugh. Okay. So if you can, I, I don't know if you can tell, but even that first flower in the original product image, it's more pink. And I went with purples because I looked up the flower. I'm like, I wonder what other colors it comes. It, you can like see it in, and, she, and the asters you can't find them in purple shades. Bluebells same. Um, you can also find them in purple shades, purplish, bluish. But I just want. I mean, they're bluebells, so I wanted to go ahead and stick with the namesake and go for for blues. The next flowers carnations. Um, the product image has them in pink, but there's so many other shades of pinks and reds that I'm gonna go ahead and go with yellow. And I find I have these really nice vibrant shade of yellows, which carnations can come in really vibrant shades of yellows. So I think that I'll go ahead and add a little nice pop of color to that top row, since again, th these two are, are already gonna be pink. Um, so yeah, so that's going to be coming up this week. Um, so, okay, I kind of spoiled it a little bit, but um, Jesse Marie did call the numbers for February. She called 4 and 20, and my number 4 was Flowers of the Alphabet. And uh, number 20 was Full Moon. So that was a nice coincidence. Because I'm already planning on finishing full moon this month, so that was nice. Um, I figured if 
if it should happen that I finish something before it's called, then I'll just replace it with another whip. Like Hordefag, I'm going to be finishing pretty soon. I right, hope to finish pretty soon. Winnie the Pooh is supposed to be for a baby that arrives in May, so I hope to finish that before May. So say it's called in August, then by that point I'll just replace it with another whip. Um, but yeah, so that's... I guess I should have said that before showing the whip go, but that's all the stitching for today. Um, I am gonna... so once I finish that space for, bing, for bingo, with Bilbo. I think I am gonna call it. <laughs> I technically have the, the rest of the weekend to do one more space if I wanted to, but I don't know if I want to because I do miss my other pieces. Like, I really wanted to stitch on the Horde, the horde flag um, this week and I was like, no, I have to finish the space, you know? So, <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if I have one more space left in me. As it is, I have, like, this is my board. This is my board right now. That's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. That'll be twenty spaces once I finish Bilbo. Twenty out of twenty-five. I, I'm good with that. Plus, like, some of them were penalty stitches. One, two, three, three, four, five were penalty stitches. So I'm, I'm good with the progress. <laughs> um, so speaking of progress, I, I wanted to go ahead and share a little bit more about statistics and where I'm at. Um, just you know, it's a little bit of a wrap up for the month. Um, disclaimer: the numbers you're going to hear are outrageous. I already anticipate not reaching some of these goals, most of these goals, but I'll make an effort, um, especially for the ones that I want to finish, right? So for example, Hogwarts. For Hogwarts, in order to finish it by the end of July, as I kind of want to do, um, I have 40,000 422 stitches left so that would mean stitching around 300 3700 stitches per month from now until July to finish it again maybe I don't know it's my 21 and 21 so maybe I'll want to focus on it a little bit more um, Bilbo's home if I want to finish it um, before April or at the end of April yeah, I should say at the end of April, because before April would be the end of eh, April. End of April, I have um, 6,294 stitches to go. Now, that does not include the 1,000 stitches that I'm going to be doing for the space, and it, it's counting half stitches as full stitches. So it's going to go fast, but as it is, I would have to do 1,800 stitches per month in order to finish um, at the end of April. And then for the Horde flag, I have 3,000 stitches to go on that one. That's it, just 3,000. So that's gonna be a finish. And that's, I have it right here, in case you in case you don't remember. This is what it looks like. It's by Up To Cross Stitch. And I started it for my boyfriend's birthday back in June. Um, so that's going to be a finish pretty soon. Next up is Mini One, which is one of, it's my first haid that I ever started. So I would like it to be the first haid that I finish. It's also a mini, so it could, it could happen. Um, for that one, in order to, I don't want to finish it per se, but in order to achieve the goal that I gave myself, um, I would have to stitch 45,937 stitches. So if I want to finish those by the end of the year, I would have to I have to do 4,200 stitches per month. 4,200 stitches per month. Um, and then the remainder of these are going to be ones. And actually, I think I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I'm using mini one for one of them. 
but the reason why these stitches is going to be so outrageous is because I'm using it for the outrageous at Mr. Challenge in Magical Stitches. So here we go. Change of seasons. Um, I have a goal of 48,000 stitches to hit 48,000 stitches. I still have 37,482 stitches to go. So in order to reach that by the end of the year, I would do have to do 3,450 stitches per month. Next up is Snow Girl. Um, I gave myself a goal of hitting 50,000 stitches this year. In order to do that, I still have to do 28,427 stitches, which amounts to around 2,600 stitches per month. Moon Charmer, which is another one that I would like to finish relatively soon. Um, I think that was my first full-size haid that I started, and it's technically select the size, so it's not even the original size. Anyway, for that one, I gave myself a goal of 75,000 stitches to hit like hit the 75k mark um in order to reach that i will have to i still have to do 34,989 stitches which amounts to around 3200 per month mini midnight stroll major focus this year or any year really i gave myself the goal of reaching 55k this year in order to do that i still have to do 38,000 stitches which amounts to around 3,500 stitches per month. Um, Reader's Paradise, I originally wanted to do or reach 10% of the piece. However, that means I still have to, in addition to the 2,000 stitches that I already did, I still have to stitch um, 68,964 stitches which amounts to around 5,800 stitches per month. That's probably not gonna happen, to be honest. <laughs> it's too much. Um, for a stitch in time, in order to reach the goal that I gave myself, um, I would have to do 51,000 stitches, which amounts to 4,700 stitches per month. Um, for tea and books, which is another one of my hates. Um, I would have to stitch 56,379 stitches, which amounts to around 5,200 5, stitches per month. And then the last one I'll give you guys, because <laughs> I just realized I'm like rambling, um, the Eternal Promise, which, as I mentioned, is going to be huge. I feel like I'm saying that for a lot of pieces, but this one is like, it's really going to be a focus. Um, in order to, and if I, so whatever goal I gave myself, unless it's like a specific stitch or to hit a milestone, it's to finish the outrageous challenge. In order to finish that outrageous um, task, I guess, I'd still need to do 56,071 stitches, which amounts to 5,200 stitches per month. So next month it'll be nope. Well, it's not gonna be it's not like it's not gonna be a problem but at least next month I'll hit it because I need to do 8500 stitches for a full coverage fanatics so that's almost twice like worth two months worth of what I need to do um, but we'll see I because this doesn't even count the the smaller pieces like the whore flag well whore flag is included but that's not including in the flowers of the alphabet. That's not including any of my samplers. So it's gonna be an interesting year. I hope you're in it. You just get ready for a wild ride <laughs> this year. Um, but yeah, so that's it. Um, that's it for me this week. Um, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for joining me today. Um, hopefully next week I'll have some some more progress to show you before the full semester kicks in. Um, and yeah, um, as always, I hope you guys have a relaxing weekend, a productive week, and you always find the time to do the thing that makes you happy. Until next time, guys. <laughs>